We are thriving and we are ready to ripple. Give me a hashtag ready to ripple if you are indeed ready to ripple. <laughs> Welcome back to day two. Oh my gosh, what a freaking day yesterday. Wow. I, I mean, we're just on day two of this challenge and even just in day one, my gosh, I've seen so much amazing stuff happening in the group and wow, it's just such an honor to be part of this journey with you. I mean, this challenge is all about how to fall in love with being visible, right? It's about how to overcome those five greatest fears that we're working on this week, those fears that are causing you to minimize yourself and to stop you from getting out there and being visible. And really this challenge is designed from my heart to yours to stop you from minimizing yourself. I, I want it to be like a new normal that, if you ever feel yourself going into minimizing yourself for whatever reason that you are able to just stop yourself in your track and go, oh, hang on a minute, I recognize, I recognize you, you've been here before. So this challenge really is about recognizing your fears when they show up. And when you recognize them, thank them. Thank you, fear, for showing up and holding up a mirror to me, for reminding me what's important. Because if you have a fear, it's probably in alignment with one of your values. If something has snuck up, what is it showing you about yourself? What is it showing you about yourself that's important that you're not necessarily revealing? Or you're, you're, it's, there's something within you emotionally that's causing you to shrink and to minimize and to back off instead of going for it and walking into it, walking through it, celebrating it. So when that fear shows up, say, thank you. I recognize you. I, I, I recognize that you're here to protect me. But I really hope that from now on, when you feel one of those fears sneaking up, that you say, fuck it, one year, no fear. <laughs> one year no fear I recognize you one year no fear who am I one year no fear ripple makers in this group give me the hashtag one year no fear if you are with me on stepping up showing up standing up and shining brightly give me that hashtag one year no fear <laughs> yes 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 brilliant love it love it love it so before we move on for today's fear focus, we have another fear we're going to work on. And in fact, uh, Catherine mentioned this fear yet, uh, on the response to yesterday in the comments. And, um, and I said, we're working on that this week, but actually we're working on it today. <laughs> so Catherine, you'll be pleased to know we are going to bust that fear today. And for those of you that have that fear around what if I don't have enough content? What if I don't have anything interesting to share? What if what I'm sharing people don't find interesting? What if people judge it? What if people don't like it? So if you've got any part of that fear, we are going to be working on that today. But before we go into the focus for today, I just want to honor each and every one of you for taking the time to show up here, to show up for yourself and to show up for each other this week, to be part of this challenge because a challenge is meant to be challenging. It is meant to dig that little bit deeper and, and bubble some stuff up so that you challenge yourself. Only this challenge is really the beginning of the challenge that I'm setting for you. One year, no fear is a one year challenge. It's a one year challenge to step up, to rise up, to shine brightly. And whenever you catch yourself minimizing yourself is to walk into it, walk forward into it. One year, no fear. Own it. One year, no fear. Unstoppable. <laughs> right? So for each and every one of you, whether you're taking part in this live with me or whether you're tuning into the replays right now, I just want to honor you for taking this time when you could be doing something else. You're taking this time to work on yourself and to be part of something greater, to step into that greater next level of yourself because it's already there. <laughs> and maybe 
there are things that you want to do that you've actually done before in your life or you've been that person before in your life like you've been courageous you've been ballsy you went out there and you just did it you didn't give a flying fuck what anybody said about you but now here you are and that future you has minimized and minimized like a little Russian doll and has placed so many layers over the top and another layer and then another layer and then another layer that 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 version of you is rattling around in there somewhere <laughs> and, and all we've got to do is take some of those layers off some layers that probably don't even belong to you some of the fears that you have they might not even belong to you they might be a fear that belongs to your mom or your dad or a carer or a friend somebody that you've spent a lot of time with and it's actually their fear that has transferred onto you but the thing is no matter what you do even if you don't go out there and shine brightly even if you decide actually this isn't for me and I'm not going to build a movement or grow something bigger I'm not going to stand up for what I believe in I'm going to I'm happy to minimize that part of me I'm going to stay where I am and if that's for you then that's okay just know that that's okay but if there is a bigger part of you that says oh but I've got this calling and I know that I'm meant to do something and I'm not quite sure what it is or I know exactly what it is but like oh I just maybe that thing that's in at you is not yours <laughs> so I just want to celebrate and honor each and every one of you for sticking with this process and do stick with it until the end of the week. Please show up. Let me know you're here in the comments. Remember each and every one of you that go through every single day, that get to the end, that demonstrate through the comments that you're here, that you're showing up and that you're going through the process. By the end of this week, I have a new book that I haven't told anybody about yet that I am going to be releasing. And you that go through it, that finish it, and that comment every day and are a part of it, that get to that final step, I'm going to send you a copy before I even publish it. So you will be the first to receive it. And there's some really, really good stuff that has poured into this book. So for each and every one of you that have already stepped up, that are already shining, that are already on your one year no fear mission, I really honor you and I celebrate you. And one of our other ripple makers, I can't remember who it was, give me a whoop whoop if it was you yesterday that said, oh, it's Polly. I'm pretty sure it was Polly that said, yeah, every time I post and I put something out there from now on, I'm going to use the hashtag one year no fear. <laughs> so please get involved in it right every time you post put the hashtag one year no fear because that is demonstrating that you really are rising up and you're showing up and i just want to say thank you as well for all the lovely messages that i've received since yesterday i've actually received a lot of personal messages those of you that are going through this process but don't want to share publicly in the group you can just message me personally as well and i really want to say thank you for the honesty and the vulnerability that you've been sharing with me through your messages as well. And um, if, wow, <laughs> that was just day one. And some of you also realized as well, and I, and I wasn't expecting this to bubble out from it, but it seems that it has, that some of you have recognized that that actually you're not clear on your reason why yet. So your challenge I gave you yesterday was share with me in the comments, like who is it specifically that you want to serve? Why do you want to serve them? Why would you want to get up every day and inspire them or motivate them or coach them or support them? Why would you want to get up and do that? Why would you commit to doing that? Why would you commit a chunk of your life to giving that, giving up some of your life to give that to others? Why would you get up and do that every day? And it was really clear for some of you, you didn't know what that reason why was. And you don't know who that is yet. Maybe you don't know who that dream client is, or you've got the service, you've got the product, and you know with all your heart that you want to get it out there, but you haven't been totally clear on how you're going to get it out to them. Well, ultimately, it's okay for you not to be clear about it. It's okay for you to, to go through yesterday's first step and realize you've got a gap. It's okay to rethink what's important to you it's really okay to do that right you you know if you think about like when I first set my message and I talked about this I think yesterday when I created my message first of all that was like nine years ago ten years ago 
if I didn't stop on that journey, if I've set that in and I've programmed that into my sat nav and I didn't stop at any point in the journey just to check in, is that still where I want to go? Is that still the destination that I'm aiming for? If I didn't step in and check in on that, that would be a really like poor CEO role of your business. That would be a really, really poor management of your business to do that it's important that you check in and you work out is this still important to me and it doesn't matter if it's changed you know it's, it's really important you give yourself this time to get clear on what's important to you to get clear about who it is you want to serve because of course there'll be a freaking fear there if you don't feel like your message is spot on or it's you feel like there's a part of your message that has kinks in it or if it's not exactly as you want it to be and you want to start opening your mouth to talk about it but you're not clear about it of course that's going to bring up fear absolutely it would when I'm invited to speak at summits and events like I'm speaking on a summit this afternoon I hope you're all coming to it um but if, if I speak at an event, if somebody asks me to speak at an event, my first thing is fear. I go into fear straight away. Yes, even me. I go into fear straight away because I'm like, oh, God, what, what am I going to do? And then when I get really clear about, OK, so this is the message. This is the title. These are the points that I'm going to make sure that I give everything with all of my heart to that audience then I feel really clear. And when I've got clarity around it, that's when I feel certain about it. That's when I feel confident about it. So if you've had some feelings like that going through step one yesterday, where you kind of know where you're going, but it's still not wrapped up in a nice neat bow yet, <laughs> don't worry. It's okay to be at that point. It's okay for for yesterday's session to show that up for you, to highlight that for you. But it's not okay to stay paralyzed by it. If you know now, OK, it's my message that I need to work on or it's my client I need to be, be more focused on. I need to be more focused on them than focused on me. Of course, I'm in fear because I'm focused on me. If I focus on them, I'm not going to be in fear because all I'm going to do is pour love and support and service into that person. So I'm not going to have any fear around that. So if there are any parts of it where you're a bit unclear. It's OK to be unclear about it, but it's not OK to be sat on your story or your message or your gift and not share it with the people who are desperately waiting for you to show up and serve them with that gift. It's not okay to have such a big heart and such a big gifting and purpose inside of you and not work out what that is. That's not okay. <laughs> That's not okay. So I'm incredibly proud of each and every one of you for recognizing that it's not OK and that you're prepared to step up. You're prepared to to really step in, to lean into it. One year, no fear. You're prepared for that. And this is the perfect playground right here in the One Drop Movement community for you to get clear on those things because there isn't any judgment here. This is the perfect practice ground. This is the perfect place for you to share what you're up to and, and get feedback on that. Is this something that the world needs? Is this something that is the right offer for my clients? This is the place to get clear on your one drop, your one message, your one movement. This is the place to do that. Because when you get clear about that stuff, that's when you get the confidence and the certainty because you have clarity around it. So let's commit to get committed to getting really clear about that. And in all seriousness, if you are wanting to do that and you feel like your message isn't quite where you want it to be and you want to work on your message and your story and your vision and the values behind it you want to get really clear about what your value is and your gift and your purpose in the world you want to get clear on those things and how you speak about them how you articulate what that even is then I'm running an online brand building retreat this coming weekend on Saturday and Sunday from 1 until 6 p.m. UK time. So it's afternoons only. We're going to do five hours on Saturday, five hours on Sunday, and we're going to walk through my signature program, which is the seven step brand Kickstarter. The seven step brand Kickstarter program is the entire foundation for every 
business, the business model, the vision, the mission, the pitch, the identity, the value you're bringing to the world, the vault, what are you going to sell? So it's a full system. And I sell that all year round, day in, day out. It's an online program. I sell it. I think it's about 260 quid, something like that. But for £97, four times a year, I run it for my community to come and get involved. So it's like 97 quid for 10 hours of training, plus you'll get access to two mini courses as well that will help you with two other aspects that we can't go into so much detail on in the time we've got together. So I've created mini courses where you can see me actually working with people and you can walk through it and use the OneDrop community to get that support as you go through it. So if it is something you're interested in, I only run it four times a year. One is coming up this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. If you're interested, please message me personally about it and I'll get you booked on and make sure you've got a ticket. I don't want you to struggle on your own. And we're gonna be masterminding in teams on your message so you won't be doing that on your own. I want you to be completely clear so it removes your fear. OK, so uh, and remember, if you are a Ripple Makers Mastermind member, by the way, it is included in your membership. So you don't need to sign up for that. You just need to tell me that you're coming. So I know how many people are going to be there. So let's move on to day two of this challenge. Today, we are working on the fear of what happens if I go blank? What, you know, what happens if this manifests itself in? me not being interesting enough or engaging enough or not having enough good content to share. And this is actually a fear that I've received as messages from quite a few of you in the last 24 hours. You know, my fear is that I haven't got enough to share or that I'll forget what to say or that what I've got to say isn't interesting enough. So here's what I would say about that. What if you were to go out there and share everything you knew so there was nothing left. <laughs> what if you shared absolutely everything? So much so there was nothing left for your programs, nothing left for your courses, nothing left because you'd given it all away for free. Do you think that everyone would consume that content? Do you think everyone would see it? Do you think that you'd really run out of content with all those life stories that you've got, with all the things that have happened to you, all the things you've learned? I bet you don't even have enough time to write all those things you've learned. So how could you possibly share all of it? And if you are worried about that, because I've had people say that to me before, but what if I give away too much? What, you know, and, and you can, there's a way of balancing it. So you're not giving everything away for free and that you have got other things that you're building into your products and programs. That's what we do in the Ripple Makers Mastermind. But if you are worried about giving too much away and giving too much information or knowledge away, I want to ask you a question and I want you to put the answer in the chat for me here. If you are worried about that, who are you worried about in this case? Are you worried about your clients and your prospects or are you more worried about you? What if I give it all away? What if I've got nothing left? What if I don't have enough to... You see the clues in the eye, <laughs> right? Who are you worried about in that case? It's quite obvious you're more worried about you than you're worried about them. And when you are building your brand, when you are getting out there, when you're making that ripple of impact, you can't be more worried about you than them. Just as we talked about yesterday on day one, you can't afford to be focused on you. You, you have to focus on them. And there's absolutely no way that you could give all of your content away. You could not possibly share with one person everything you know. It is just not possible. You would need a lifetime to do that. And if you've got a lifetime customer relationship, that's exactly what I'm hoping you're going to go for. But I also want you to think about approaching this in a different way, right? So if you're approaching everything from a place of love and service and giving, then you won't worry about what people think. You won't worry about running out of content. You won't be worried about any of that stuff because you'll just be showing up in your gift. And you have to, have to, have to trust that your gift is flowing through you. It's not just stuff that you've learned this lifetime and you're trying desperately to remember everything you know. When you get quiet, the gift comes to you. When you get quiet, you allow it to move through you. 
and you don't get so attached to the physical things that are around you because actually all of your experiences everything that you've ever gone through past present and potentially future they're they're all around you all the time all those experiences but they're not necessarily here and they're not necessarily here in your head they they, they might be here in your heart and it, unless you get quiet you don't get quiet enough for you to listen to them so don't worry about ever giving away too much or not knowing if you've got enough to say because like even if you told everybody everything you know you would still have another experience today that would add to the wisdom of tomorrow <laughs> right? and if you're focused on helping others if you put all of your confidence and your love in the service of others then you'll stop being fearful around not having enough having too much you'll just stop having that fear because ultimately your purpose in life is to go and make that difference and there's another way i also want you to think about this right because let's be honest your clients probably already know everything you're about to teach them there is nothing i'm telling you here this week that you don't already know I might just be bringing some things to surface. I might be bringing th some things to light. What I'm doing with you might be the thing that you even do with your clients, but who's doing it for you, <laughs> right? So all the information that you are sharing is probably already available out there in the world somewhere, yes or no. Like in the comments, is it true that somebody could go and search for whatever it is that you provide and they could type that into Google and they would find hundreds, if not thousands of searches for that thing. I know that's true for me talking about brand and branding. When I launched how to build a brand, when I bought that domain name on day one, there were three, what was it? Uh, 473 million searches for that search term. That would have been so easy for me to go, fuck that. There's already too much content out there. Talk 437 million. Like, if I'm going to search for anything, I probably look at the first three searches. Why would I go 437 million searches back just to find myself? That could have been a fear that could have stopped me from going out and making that difference and launching how to build a brand. But I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go for it anyway and just see what happens. And because I was relentless in service, because I was relentless in giving, because I was persistent in serving, I served every day, I showed up, I showed up in my gift and my calling, I showed up for the term how to build a brand every single day. And within 12 weeks of doing that every day, I'd gone from 437 million in the search engines to number three at the top of Google above Sir Richard Branson. Just because I was relentless and persistent in the way that I showed up and the way that I served. And all I was doing was serving with what I already knew. I wasn't having to learn anything else for me to show up and serve. I was just tapping into my own core wisdom around that one topic, one message, one ripple of impact, how to build a brand. And because I was showing up in service of that, it meant that I was making a difference. Now, could any of you have gone and typed in how to build a brand and found millions of searches? I've just told you you could. But yet here we are, <laughs> here we are. And somehow you and I ended up in this community together, either by seeing me speak or referring, maybe you were referred to come in here. And that's the power of you stepping up and making sure that it's you that's shining because your audience is out there and your audience already knows everything you're gonna tell them. But your audience, maybe they don't have the, accountability maybe they've got all the information but they don't have that's not enough for most people right having information isn't enough you've got loads of information about how you can do all the things that we're talking about this week but maybe that's not enough maybe your clients still lack motivation maybe they lack accountability maybe they don't like the people that are already doing it and actually they're waiting for you with your personality and your heart for what you're doing and waiting for you to show up and be that movement maker. So I want you to answer some questions for me in the chat right now and be honest about how, I mean, yesterday you were honest about how you're showing up because we can always work from that place wherever you're at. But I want you to now think about 
your dream clients yeah so if you have already done that work or just you know call to mind a dream client somebody you'd love to work with maybe you already know them uh, maybe they're already in your community maybe they're in this community and there's somebody that you really want to work with and i want you to be honest so the first question is it likely they already know the thing that you teach is it already likely they already know the answer is it likely that they could find it as your next question is it likely that they could find it on google if they wanted to if they really wanted to find the answer out could they go onto google and find it question three if they went onto google to find it is it you that would be showing up talking about it is it you they would find all over google rent in all of the first pages of google is it you they would find yes or no just take the time to feel into these questions we're going to wrap up very soon just feel into these questions feel into well hang on a minute yeah they could find what i'm talking about somewhere else and maybe that's the thing that's been paralyzing you so they can find this everywhere else but now i want you to answer this question is there a way that you do what you do that is completely unique to you? Is there a way that you could serve that is completely unique to you? Notice that I've said could. You might be thinking, but I don't know. I don't know how. Is there a way, this is your next question, is there a way that you could make it unique in the way that you do it? You might not know the answer of how to do it, but forget about that. Could you? Is there a possibility that there is? And your final question, are you willing to be that person that shows up all over Google? Are you willing to do it? Are you willing to rise up? Are you willing to be found? Are you willing to do what it takes to make sure that it's you that they're finding, not someone else? And that's literally your challenge for today. I want you to really own it. <laughs> There's some ducks and geese going a little bit bonkers next to the boat right now. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> um, but are you willing to? So I want your declaration. That's your challenge for today. I'm keeping all your challenges really simple. I just want your declaration that I am willing to do whatever it takes to show up for those that I wish to serve. I am willing to do whatever it takes to show up for those that I wish to serve. That's all I want from you today. That's your commitment. It's your challenge. If you really, really want to win some brownie points, you'll create a video or go live in this group and say, I am willing to do whatever it takes to serve those who need me most. Say it however you want to say it, but I want you to get this affirmation, this incantation, this statement. I want you to own it and I want you to feel into one year no fear. If you going live in this group or creating a video, causes some fear great this is your first one year no fear challenge make sure you put the hashtag one year no fear with your post and go do it because there's no safer more loving community than this one for you to start going live in for you to start showing up and you'll see that some of my ripple makers members as we are masterminding with them every day um, I'm giving them challenges to, to step up. And so you'll see things that start to get posted, people sharing vision statements and all kinds of stuff in here. If you see that stuff, it's because they're showing up. So please do take the time to honor them and to witness the fact that they're probably going through some of their own demons and their own challenges. And to share something in the group in that way can be a pretty big thing to do. So please support me in supporting them and honoring them. Just stop by, like or comment on what it is they're posting, because one day that could be you and you're going to want them to do the same for you. So I just want your declaration. Get it, put it into the group, 
whether you create a nice Canva graphic of it with the wording there so that it reminds you, get it as your screensaver, put it up above your bed so it's the first thing that you look at when you get up in the morning or put it on your mirror when you're brushing your teeth. I want you to own it because you need to be willing. <laughs> if you're not willing, at least willing, doesn't mean that you're even gonna go and do it, but just be willing to do it. I am willing to do everything it takes for me to show up to those that I desire to serve. Because I'm willing to show up and make a fool of myself and do that each and every day if that's what it takes to support you in making your ripple of impact. Because if you don't make your ripple, I don't make mine. So get that amazing statement done, that declaration. And I'll look forward to seeing you sharing that in the group. I honor you. I love you. I respect you. If you want to go on this journey with me and you want to come join us at the weekend, please do reach out to me personally. You'll notice I'm not doing big promos or anything about it. This is an invitation only. I'm only inviting those of you that are my members and that are part of this challenge. So, um, so yeah, just, you know, I want to support you in going to that next step, because if you don't go to your next step, I don't go to mine. And if I don't go to mine, then there are more people that are going to be waiting to make their next step. This is an infinite flow, right? Infinite flow. So take care. Have a wonderful day. I'll look forward to seeing what you come up with. And I'll see you tomorrow for day number three. Lots of love. See you soon.